Hey, what's up, fellas? I'm Corey, and this is Get Sharp. Today, I had a handful of Rada cutlery knives walk in. These knives are made right here at home in the good old US of A. Only thing is, they kind of cut like they were made in China. But let's see how quick I can make these things friggin' laser sharp. All right, my friends, it's time for real data. This is the Edge On Up PT50A. Slices with a special piece of wire. And this produces or registers sharpness in grams. The lower the number, the better. Anything under 200 is basically a razor. So let's go ahead and take a look at where these knives register. I'll try this left-handed for the first time. Six forty one. Whoo, nine hundred to a thousand. These register as severely rolled edges all right let's get to work all right we're gonna go ahead and get started with these two first they've got a couple small dents so that tells me that these two are used for uh heavier work i think i set this up for 145 let me just double check okay, 145 on the nose All right, we're gonna kick things off with the SG250, which is simply an aluminum oxide wheel. And this is uh, this is mass market steel. I should be able to cut through fairly quickly. Right. Got our Sharpie on the back. Quick visual. Oh yeah, before I get going, let me show you how this guy looks. Give a special shout out to Charles Marsh, who just received his first Tormic. Hobby sharpener, kind of diving in to the deep end here. I warned him, but he bought it. I'm excited for you though, Charles. You're gonna have a lot of fun learning how to use this machine. Better than a video game. I mean, truly isn't anything else I'd rather be doing right now. Give another shout out to my buddy, Jeff Armstrong, another local sharpener. He and I have been having fun going back and forth via text. And Fred B. Always appreciate you. You always give me great insights to improve the quality of my videos. Let's 
It's a softer steel and it's actually uh, quite a quite thin blade. So I think I'm gonna be on a burr right here right now. Can almost feel it. Like once it it's on rails. Yep, grabbed all the fibers off my shirt. Let me show you. See that bolster in the blade, the point of the heel? There's no getting in there. Probably just gonna have to grind that back. Yeah, we've already got a burr. I've been going back and forth between the uh, batting gloves. I think they're batting or golfing gloves and the uh, mechanics gloves. These are so much thinner. The mechanics gloves, I like tight fitting gloves so I can you know, be precise and grab things. The mechanics gloves, they will wear your, they wear my hands out more quickly. So I'm just, I love these for sharpening. Anti-corrosion liquid in here. I just eyeball a couple drops. No, oh, more like 10 drops. I'm pressing down right here as I tighten. Okay. So my first uh, grind, 16 and a half. This one, 16 and a half. This pass or this stage, I'm gonna thin the burr that I've created. So good. So good. As I was moving the camera with this in my hand, walking over there, I felt the point of the heel catch my pinky. Got that leather on though. Not getting me, not right now anyways. The second I take these gloves off, it'll get me though. Okay, same thing. Actually, no, not the same thing. We're gonna go ahead and increase our angle by 1.5 degrees. So we're gonna go to 17.5 for the finish, the final edge angle, 86.4. Take a measurement. And this wheel needs to be, the top of this wheel needs to be 86.4 millimeters from the top of the support bar for me to achieve 17.5 degrees. And the reason for this increase in the edge angle on that last uh, stage, I thinned the burr out. On this stage, I'm re removing it by the root. Remember, steel is plastic like it's malleable right when i was grinding on that aluminum oxide wheel in the beginning i deformed and created a lot of plastic steel deep below the apex that i created the burr the apex and a root 
of plastic steel. Last pass, thin that burr down and reduce the apex as it sits, reduce the amount of plastic steel above the apex. This time, my goal, get below that plastic steel and leave a nice, crisp, hardened steel apex. And that's gonna reduce the chances of my apex rolling in the weeks and months to come when the client's using it. Start doing really lightweight passes. No weight, just the weight of gravity. And I have found about eight to 10 passes this is the magic number for this stage. Now I'm going very lightweight right now because I don't want to, if I put too much pressure, I can create more plastic steel. So soft and slow mitigates the chances of that. And this is some real knife nerd, knife geek stuff here, so. not a requirement per se but I'm building a I'm working to build a reputation that in 20 years will precede me so I do a lot of studying on not only sharpness, sharpness is important, but durability, stability, equally important. In fact, I would st say edge stability is more important than sharpness. All right, last pass. I'm gonna try to do no extra lightest I can.
freaking sharp. Come on in, let's see what it registers at. There she is, finished product. Finished edge, 17.5 degrees. What can she cut? One forty five. That qualifies as utility blade. Yep, utility razor sharp. And we'll go ahead and just double check for good measure. Regular blade has several little dents. You could use more than sharpening. Today I was paid to sharpen, so that's what we did. Twenty-two. So that one there is kind of creeping in on Gillette razor sharp. Nonetheless, it's sharp. Well, there you have it, guys. We measured in at 117 grams, which qualifies as a utility razor. Now that I know that my process produces razor razor sharp knives. It's time to start working on speed, okay? And I've got a secret weapon. It's on its way right now, it's on a boat. So within a week or two, we're gonna increase our sharpening speed by two. So make sure you stay tuned. If you're not subscribed, subscribe. If you're new here, say what's up in the comments. If you've been here before, let me know you were here as well. Guys, thank you again as always for tuning in. I'm having too much fun over here getting paid to sharpen knives. Um, gonna have some fun this weekend too. I've got a good video for anyone who's interested in starting a business and or in maybe improving your existing sharpening business. So look for my uh, upcoming video. It'll probably drop on Sunday. All right, see ya, bye.